Hello and welcome to another edition of Transfer Talk on Football Daily, the only place on YouTube to hear about all of the best and some of the worst gossip and rumours from the world of football. The transfer window is well and truly open, meaning there's loads of juicy stories on offer. As always, tweet me at Football Daily with the hashtag Transfer Talk if you want to be featured next week. Leeds United may have missed out on signing Ghent's golden boy Jonathan David after the Canadian chose to join Lille, but that hasn't hindered their hunt for a forward. In fact, their search could soon be over after Dutch outlet HLN revealed that they've had a £25 million bid for Chelsea's forgotten forward, Michy Bashwai. Let's face it, the Belgium has been gathering dust at the West London club. This season, the 26-year-olds managed a miserable one start in the Premier League with five of his six goals all season coming in cup competitions. It's the latest hiccup in what has been a disappointing four-year stay at the Blues for the former Marseille man. But despite his lack of action, everything suggests this could be a clever move by the Whites. Bar a difficult spell at Valencia in 18-19, Bashway has largely impressed when sent out on loan elsewhere. While at 26 years old, he still has plenty of time to reach his potential. Plus, with Chelsea's attack already swollen for next season, there may well never be a better time to leave Stamford Bridge. For Chelsea, £25 million would represent a £6 million loss on their struggling star, which isn't too bad considering his minimal game time. Next, we return to one of the biggest, and in my opinion, one of the most boring talking points of the summer so far, Jadon Sancho to Man United. But for every Red Devils fan hoping for some positive news, this may not be it, as it appears United have started to consider other alternatives for the young Englishman. Why we weren't doing that already? A feature on that list is Juventus winger Douglas Costa. According to Sky Sports' Italian transfer expert Gianluca Di Marzio, the Brazilian is surplus to requirements at the Bianconeri and has instructed his agent to find him a new club. Manchester United have been contacted and are mulling over a possible move for the 29-year-old. United's main problem remains that Borussia Dortmund are adamant Sancho is going nowhere and they are yet to receive the £108 million offer that they are after. While the club's chairman Hans Joachim Vatska recently insisted they don't need to sell, despite posting a €44 million Euro loss for 1920. But United manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer definitely wants to strengthen with or without Sancho, having seen his side fall short in yet another semi-final this season after losing to Sevilla. But is Douglas Costa really a viable alternative to Sancho? The former Bayern man is regularly injured, playing just under 800 minutes of Serie A action this season. Not just that, but he only posted five goal involvements in the league. That's 28 less than the England international. Plus, at nine years his senior, Costa only has a few years is left at the top of the game. But with Juve keen to sell and Solskjaer desperate for squad depth, the Brazilian international could well be a stopgap as they wait another season for Sancho. If you're enjoying this video, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe for loads more transfer gossip here on Football Daily. For our next video, we're sticking with the words of Gianluca Di Marzio after the Sky Sports journalist revealed that Juventus want Arsenal forward Alexander Lacazette. New boss Andrea Pirlo is eager to turn over the old ladies' front line, with Raul Jimenez reportedly their principal target. However, Wolves are determined not to sell. Corriere dello Sport even claimed that both Gonzalo Higuain and Aaron Ramsey have been offered to the West Midlands outfit in separate swap deals, but both have been rejected. Demazio claims Lacazette stars on a list of alternative forward targets that includes the likes of Alvaro Morata and Edin Dzeko. But with limited funds available, the Gunners forward could emerge as the most achievable target. Tuto Mercato believes the 29-year-old has a £30 million price tag on his head, having only delivered 12 goals last season. And with Arsenal about to sanction a bumper new contract for Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang to follow William's own costly arrival, the club might need to raise funds soon. Various reports claim that Juventus transfer chief Fabio Parrish Tici is jetting into London to commence negotiations with both Arsenal and Wolves, with no intention of returning to Turin empty-handed. Could Wilfred Zaha's transfer dilemma finally have an end in sight? We all know he wants to leave Crystal Palace, but while they continue to value him at £80 million, that isn't going to happen. It doesn't help though that the ridiculous new contract the Ivorian signed still has three years to run. However, there could be light at the end of a murky Croydon tunnel for Zaha. Sky Sports have revealed that the European trio of Borussia Dortmund, PSG and Monaco have all registered an interest in the former Manchester United star. Dortmund and PSG are both making contingency plans should they lose Jadon Sancho and Neymar, whilst Monaco are looking to rebuild after a difficult 1920 campaign. 
They can't offer Zaha the Champions League football he craves just yet, but that could easily change in the next few years. Clearly a lot needs to happen before any formal bids come in, but Zaha will be relieved big clubs are still following his work, especially after a difficult season in the Premier League that he only delivered a mere seven goal involvements in. He just needs to pray that the Eagles finally relax their lofty valuation to make something happen. And now it's time for our headline story, and trust me on this one, you're going to want to buckle up. Following Barcelona's outright humiliation at the hands of Bayern Munich last Friday, we knew that there were going to be changes. Kike Setien was quickly removed from his position, and Ronald Koeman has been brought in to replace him. So far, so normal for Barcelona. But the news coming out of Catalonia now is that their entire squad, Barter, Stegen, Longley, De Jong and Messi, are up for sale. Yes, that's right, Barcelona publication Sports claim that the players previously seen as untouchable, such as Pique, Busquets, Jordi Alba and Luis Suarez, could all leave this summer in an attempt to raise funds necessary for the rebuild. According to this controversial article, Umtiti hasn't been forgiving for not wanting to have surgery, whilst Junior Firpo and Coutinho are also likely to leave. Not only that, but Nelson Semedo, Antoine Griezmann and Ousmane Dembele could follow them out the door if the right offers are made. And that's not it. Le Ten Sport claim that Kerman has made it clear he wants his first signing to be Ajax's Donny van der Beek. The two know each other well from the Netherlands side and the midfielder could be available for a reported £35 million. Plus, after it emerged that the Dutch Giants want to bring Luis Suarez back to Amsterdam, it appears both clubs could hold something the other team want, which could make things very interesting. Barcelona were already in chaos after Marcelo Beckler, the journalist who broke the news of Neymar's departure to PSG, revealed Lionel Messi was considering his future at the club. But this article from Sport takes it to a whole new level and goes to show how crazy things must be behind the scenes at the camp now right now. Which of these players though, if any, do you see leaving Barcelona? I want to hear from you in the comments right now because this is total and complete carnage. Moving on to Everton now, where Carlo Ancelotti finally has a summer transfer window to stamp his vision onto the Toffees. And the first area he's determined to address is their midfield. The Italian's top target is Napoli enforcer Alain, who has fallen out of favour under his new boss Gennaro Gattuso. Luckily for Everton, Ancelotti and Alain are on good terms from his time in charge at the Partner Pay, and reports out of Italy claim a £28 million deal for the Brazilian is close, a fact supported by transfer guru Fabrizio Romano. Alan is reportedly so keen to head to Merseyside, he's instructed his agent to only talk to the Toffees. Should something go wrong, however, then Watford's Abdoulaye de Cure has been lined up as a contingency plan. The Frenchman, who's probably too good for the championship, could be available for around £30 million. At 27 years old, he's two years younger than Alan and would have no issues adjusting to life in the Prem. Whoever it turns out to be, Everton should be boasting a new look midfield come next season. Finally, we're staying in Liverpool where it could be bad news for the red side of the city. Liverpool appeared to be sailing towards a deal for Bayern Munich playmaker Thiago Alcantara, but negotiations have hit a bump in the road over issues of valuation. The Guardian revealed that Liverpool are refusing to meet Bayern's £27 million asking price. De Rotten, meanwhile, are reluctant to cut his value any further and are ready to delay any negotiations until their Champions League pursuit is over. So make no mistake, Thiago to Liverpool is by no means a done deal. But Liverpool fans, are your club being ludicrous not just playing what they asked for? It's only 27 million quid for Thiago. Or is waiting another year to grab him for free a smart move? Why not let us know in the comments? So that's it for today's episode of Transfer Talk. Barca fans, I want to hear from you in particular about this utter chaos. And if you did enjoy this, head over to the Football Daily podcast channel where me, Patrick Van Straat and Mikey McCubbin talk a little bit more about the Ronald Kerman situation. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you later.